Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plan Obsessed, and we're going to look in on the DIY stacked bin. I did not watch the video previously, but uh, I think we can figure it out. Let's uh, see where we fed. If you're new here, um, I uh, just am going to uh, rummage through my bin here right now. This is a, a normal checkup on a bin that I've been running for a couple of years. It has red wigglers, uh, blue worms, and European night crawlers in it. And last time, I'm now remembering, we fed corn. Um, corn's not exactly a fast food, so I expect to see that in here for probably the next six months easily. Let's see. Just kind of rooting around in here to see if I did leave any fast food. I think we had a maybe a pineapple or something in here before. Good concentration of worms all the way across. Now oh, here's the pineapple. So you can tell the pineapple's still green. That is weird to me. Um, I wonder if it's going to be like the avocados and stuff and start growing roots. I don't know. If that's fiber or if that's going to be roots, put it in the comments below if you've ever had one of these things just start growing on its own. Because it's weird that that is still green up there at the top. Okay, it's weird to me anyway. I've never had it do that. So let's just look and see what these guys have got. And it's looking like they do not have any fast food. They just have what's left over that pineapple and the corn. So let me move this layer off, and then we will see what the next layer down is doing. All right. So down here is starting to look very good. Uh, had my towel that I put under here. And if you hear the siren in the background, uh, the city I live in, the siren goes off because there used to be a brickyard here, and it goes off at 7 a.m., noon, and 6 p.m. So, you ever wonder, what time does Ann crawl around with the worms? Well, today it's 6 p.m. So this was a full-size bath towel um, a couple months ago. So that is, that is coming along nicely. The worms are eating it up. I don't see any evidence that it's going to uh, have any sort of synthetic fibers like you do with the t-shirts. But uh, yeah, so this is looking good. These guys are probably pretty close to um, getting harvested. Looks like I'm growing a little avocado here. All right, let me pull this, or two little avocados. Ah, ah, ah. All right, let me go take this off, and we'll look at the bottom layer. All right, so as you can see, this is really done. And pretty wet, really. So this uh, three-tier bin... I started a couple of years ago, and I started it kind of as a just a replacement for me not wanting to buy a $300 uh, stackable worm bin. I thought maybe I could do it for cheaper, which I did. Uh, this is a ten, three 10 gallon totes, and I got them for about five or six dollars at a big box store, and uh, and it does. It works just lovely, um, except for it doesn't work quite how I thought it was going to. I thought this bottom. Uh, layer was going to be kind of a sump where all the liquid would go to. Um, and also, that is true. It does seem to be wetter here than it is anyplace else. However, um, <laughs> all the worms like to come down here too, and they kept drowning, so I thought, well, if you can't beat them, join them. And I put some bedding down here, and eventually it just kind of morphed into, it's just another layer of the bin. So these guys are really getting close to being done here. In fact, I think what I want to do is I want to take this stuff from the bottom and move it up to the top so it can start drying out. So let me go grab the other layer. Okay. 
So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap, swap this out. So I'm going to take this stuff from the top and I'm going to throw it on the bottom because this is just in progress. It's nowhere near being done. The bottom layers do tend to get done faster. Not 100% sure why, but they do tend to go faster. Uh, this bin cycles about every six months in whole, but uh, I think the bottom, bottom layer, I think easily probably does it in four months. Um, so I, I kind of swap them around. It's kind of a crazy thing I do. Seems to work, in my defense, for all of my craziness. Um, and the point of it is to, you know, get the worms fed and also make castings. Which, you know, considering how wet these are, this is uh, in no way, shape, or form going to be ready any time soon to, to sift. I mean, this is just like, uh, you know, peanut butter. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to feed the middle layer this time. All right, let's see what we've got to, to feed these guys. Get them some bedding and some food. This is my prepared bedding that's been sitting around for a week or so. And uh, here's the last of that stuff from Cece. They're going to get a good feeding, and then I'm going to give them some more bedding. Okay. That stuff is going to be ugly, so it's good that it is in the bottom middle layer here. Good thing there's no smell-o-vision. So I'm going to flatten this out, and then these guys can start drying out. I'm not going to cover them or anything, um, but the this layer will all kind of squeeze down together after a little bit. Um, so that is what we're going to do today. We've uh, swapped out the layers, we've fed the middle, and now we're going to dry out the top here. Okay guys, well that's about all for this. If you have any questions, put that below. But if you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms and everybody. Have a good day.